Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. Uh, if I understand correctly, you presented uh, President Trump with uh, three alternatives to implement this policy on aluminum. One of them was global. One of them was uh, targeted. Uh, is that correct? Yes, that is. The okay. targeted one in, w encompassed just China, Hong Kong, Russia, Venezuela, Vietnam. Right. And if that alternative had been adopted, Russia, for example, would be paying three times as much tariff as it will under the approach that was accepted. Yes, the, the targeted approach, had it been adopted in its original form, and would I, have put very high tariffs on, on a very small number of countries. And, and that uh, really goes to a broader concern that I have. That would have permitted other countries, our allies, to maintain the quota of aluminum that they had uh, last year. Instead, yes, President Trump rejected that alternative that would have imposed higher tariffs on Russia and these other four countries. Russia, of course, has the second largest aluminum producer in the world. Uh, that uh, is headed by someone who's repeatedly been denied visas to come to the United States because of his connections uh, to criminal organizations. And I just have to frankly and respectfully question your comment that the President made clear that his first priority is to keep America safe. Uh, I don't see anything indicating that he's particularly interested in keeping our country safe from Russia. Indeed, I have to concur with the comments uh, that I'm sure you're familiar with, that Barry McCaffrey, uh, a decorated four-star United States Army general, combat veteran from Vietnam, recipient of three Purple Hearts, said within the last few days, Reluctantly, I've concluded that President Trump is a serious threat to U.S. national security. He is refusing to protect vital U.S. interests from active Russia attacks. It is apparent that he is, for some unknown reason, under the sway of Mr. Putin. Now, I know you don't agree with that, but we've had, since he made that very powerful statement from someone who's clearly an American patriot, we've had President Trump respond uh, to the attempted murder uh, in Great Britain uh, and to the continued Russian assault on our election system by calling and congratulating President Putin. He has insulted people all over this country, but the one person he's had never a, a bad word about, a question word about, uh, is Vladimir Putin. And it appears that Mr. McCaffrey, General McCaffrey, has summed it up rather well and that, if anything, the approach taken with these aluminum and steel tariffs is very consistent with the approach of always coddling Russia uh, and never calling it out for its attempt to steal our democracy. Thank you, gentlemen. Time has expired, Mr.